and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spider aggro. Uh, we're going to be retrying a, an old classic, you know, playing, uh, this was like a deck that it's a really good beginner deck and like one of the very best decks that they uh, have you start out with. Um, but we got some, we got some good upgrades to it and we're going to be trying it over in master rank. Of course we got Elise and Draven going to be our other champion. <laughs> we have... Sorry, my, my two dogs are, <laughs> you can see there's, there's Harvey. Harvey's not on camera too often. There's Harvey. She is really wanting her pets right now. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. Lee's Draven. We got uh, Frenzied Skitter, all sorts of other spiders, um, everything like that. Our top end, you know, besides like vision to pump up some stuff, our top end, let me get her over on this other side, um, is going to be crowd favorite. Uh, being you know crowd favorite you know you know because we're going wide and then the new captain Farron that just got updated to create a bunch of decimates and like these decimates should really help us help us finish out games that our opponents stabilize so it should be pretty fun here we go let's go play over in ranked we'll go play our five games and we got spider aggro <laughs> yeah Double Doggo. We've, we've had some long games today um, with Spooky Quinn, Warm Other Lux. We had some some real interesting ones to some real long games. So it's a little bit later. My my dogs are telling me it's time for... They're like, it's time for us to eat. They'll get dinner afterwards, and it's... Usually they don't eat for another hour anyway, but, you know, you... They won't tell you that. They'll tell you <laughs> they're always eating... Like, they need to eat right away. I guess, so, I guess we mulligan Draven, because we have Draven's biggest fan that will give us another Draven. So I guess we can mulligan that, look for some, some two-mana cards, look for some ability to go wide. The party has hey, Penguin. Knows me nice. Spinning Axe will help the, the vision. I'm not going to be attacking with the 2-1. I, I don't want to trade units because we have crowd favorite. We don't want to trade. And uh, I'm glad I didn't play the Precious Bet. That was definitely a thought. I didn't want to make it rain to do that. The dead don't need riches. It's Draven time. Oh, this isn't Draven looking great out. for us right now. This Ezreal deck is built on killing small units, and our deck is built on playing small units. Safety will cost you. Not the best matchup. This is just pretty rough having these one health things because of Twisted Fate. I really hope they don't have Twisted Fate. But, uh, you know, I don't really want to play just 3 2 crowd favorite, right? Like, we want a larger crowd favorite. Let's get to it. I guess I should I should be doing the three three. I stand for Noxus. But yeah, just just threw that out there to grow crowd favorite. I, I should have done the three three, not the two one. Please don't twist of fate. Good hand opponent, GG's. <laughs> really, Glimpsepion? We couldn't have you earlier? Just had 
had that card the previous turn. Heavy pockets, huh? Is he here yet? Oh man. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. I salute you. Dealing coins and carnage. Is post nerf yoink still good? Um, I mean, I guess it kind of depends. Black Market Merchant is still just like, yeah, Black Market Merchant is still great. Pilfer Goods is certainly worse. But black market merchant still quite strong. Captain Farron is our hope. Getting a bunch of damage in here, and then Captain Farron is our hope. Time for the money makers. This would have definitely been a lot better if I would have actually, you know, that that was a big mistake by me file feasting. The wrong card. That was a good card for them to steal, though. Good card to yoink. Vile Feast. It's a great one. So I shouldn't even have Vile Feast in our deck, so it can't get stolen. Today, don't need riches. I'll be surprised if we survive this turn. We don't just have burn spells that just kill us. Yeah, you know, it's likely wreck, you know, uh, Riptide Rex. No, I don't. I don't think that Twisted Fate deck beats Frostbite now. Frostbite mid range now. The units are too big with Frostbite mid range. It's great. I mean, it it's great at killing what we were playing. It's great at killing one health things and two health things. It, it looks it looks amazing at that. But no, it, the the frostbite mid range stuff is too big, too efficient. Yeah, they got the one mana five fives, all that kind of stuff. All right, Shen Fiora. What do we think of? Death's hand. Two damage? Maybe not enough damage. I mean, I, I don't think there is a counter to Frostbite mid range myself. Other people may tell you, oh, I have this deck that I win 80% of the time against Frostbite mid range, and I, I don't believe any of it, honestly. I, I have a very high opinion of frostbite midrange and you know it's not going to win every single game obviously you know like it's, it doesn't win anything 100 percent but i don't think there's anything that's you know over 100 games is going to be favored 
much against Frostbite mid-range. So I don't I don't have any answer. Our ancestors are watching. Well this has started off really well for us with them just having Vanguard Redeemer on turn three as their first play. Definitely a good sign for us. I I haven't played Draven Ezreal in a very long time. But I had I have played that deck before, but it's it's been a long time and different nerfs and stuff like that since. What are you waiting for? Well, Draven, normally I'd be playing Arachnoid Horror right now, but I'm a little scared of this Fleet Feather Tracker. Kills Precious Pet, we will glimpse beyond Precious Pet. shouldn't be trading. Whoa, just taking it. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Alright. Banner has been raised. Spirits have been raised. Or lifted. For the glory of Demacia. Okay. Well, I can't. I cannot play crowd favorite if I want to play double whirling death. For our allies. Now we're cooking. I guess I could have discarded that thing. Um, let's see. basically want to see Oh, I guess I have I have death's hand. So we're good. We're good. So I was say I want to see if they have a barrier card, but we have death's hand that we can still use against a barrier. Um obviously Will of Ionia would be a complete mess, but besides anything besides Will of Ionia, we're great. I'm really hoping this is a barrier. Definitely hoping this is a barrier. Concerted strike? That's a complete mess also. Draven down. So I should have only done one. I shouldn't have done the second one. The second whirling death. I was really greedy doing the second one. Uh, that's two big mistakes that have cost me. The party has a ride. Last time with the Vile Feast on the wrong thing, this time by playing the second Whirling Death. I long for a worthy opponent. Yeah, I mean, that's just... 
Two very big mistakes. I'll defend these forests to the end. Basically, we just gotta try to stay alive and have our decimates finish the job. That's that's the goal. <laughs> playing playing aggro is not necessarily good for your brain. Counter and strike. I don't know if that was a mistake. Playing that thing that killed their card. If I sh needed to just play Captain Farron. Because then I would have had the mana to have one decimate this turn. Enough mana for another decimate. In the name of our land. It's just a, you know, the whirling death cost me. I, th I think we could have won that if I just held back on the second whirling death, just take the five damage. Um, I don't know. Concerted Strike, like, Concerted Strike still would have, basically all that would have done is, like, leveled up Draven and gave me, no, maybe, maybe we wouldn't have won anyway. I mean, I guess we would have killed one of their things. Yeah, I mean, killing one of those, you know, especially killing that 5-5, five five, that dealt a lot of damage to me. That probably would have bought me the time I needed. That probably did cost me. Nothing like the great outdoors. I'll scout ahead. Yeah, I, I love Concerted Strike. It, that is a great card. That is a really, really good quality removal spell. Come closer. I don't bite. This is a difficult game to play, just to, well, really difficult to stream for a long period of time. It's so much uh, mental, um, you know, this game takes a lot of mental power to play. Games are, are super close in skill testing, and so playing it while streaming, while reading and speaking not easy and it's really not easy over a long period of time that's why my streams aren't super long I've heard about you because then cause I am worried about play going downhill and, and stuff like that Armed and ready. quality of play that is so I'm just going to be attacking in with the Arachnoid Horror, and I 
Okay, we drew Vile Feast. That changes things. Don't want to attack him with Elise. No, we're just let's just attack him like this. And then play House Spider, play Elise, level up Elise. Investigating officer, unit six. There's nothing to fear. Smooth as silk. Hopefully next turn we get to have a level up Elise. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have removal. They grow up so fast. Still taking notes. There's criminals to pursue. Logic and caution separate us from malefactors. I salute you! Yes, of course! No. I thought, oh, well, they just have two mana. They're not going to have a removal soul for this. Dang! Double claws of the dragon? Wow. That was... That was pretty nice. Hey, Lens Hunter. I stand for Noxus! Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. Noxian strength! The facts fall into place! You lack subtlety. Ready yourself. You act, but do not see. Double se double four mana seven six overwhelm. I can't really complain like that. That soup, you know, like Basilis Grider was a what a six four and got nerfed. Well, what if Basilis Grider was a seven six? You know, like I can't I can't do any complaining about not being lucky or anything over here when I have that. I'm just gonna be passing. Nothing like the great outdoors. Maybe I should be casting Glyphs Beyond on that one one. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. The party has arrived. This isn't going to work. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Gives me another spider, another body. Probably only attacking with Teemo, unfortunately. Obviously, I'd want them to attack with something else. Ooh, okay, okay. Whoa. Well, that's nice. We got zero mana spells over there. Fate brings us together! I don't have just zero mana missing shot. I did my best. Yeah, it was just a risky line that they wanted to get more damage in against me, but I don't I don't think they can even make that attack against these crowd favorites. Okay, GG. One and two. Crowd favorite looking amazing. There, four oh mana, God. seven, six, overwhelm. That is definitely what our deck is all about. That's definitely what we were trying to do 
to begin with. Let's have those those kind of um, those kind those kind of crowd favorites. Okay. Let's get rid of Skitter and Ravenous Flock. Hmm. It's unfortunate. It's just simply one mana 2-1 that doesn't do anything else, but it is important to have a 1-drop. It seem like our opponent's deck could, could definitely be a Remembrance deck, like they may not have anything on turn 1 or turn 2. Maybe. So the question is, do we get the 5 in, or do we play the Drave in? I, I think we just get the 5 in. Alright, we'll draw draw two, keep them from getting a spiderling. No. Alright, never mind, they get the spiderling. Alright, bipolar in, thanks for the donation deck there. It's an Auroch deck with Ember Maiden. Alright, cool. Those are always fun to play. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Thank you. I'll write you down. Oh, I don't have the second Vile Feast. So they get to draw their cards. Lucky. I didn't block with the 1-1 because will be I wanted the ability to go wide. <laughs> Reading Guardian will be a problem. Joker. All right, good clutch, Ravenous Flock. Burns Take that down. That was clutch. I stand for Noxers. I gotta work with this Joker. And that. Greedy me wants to, you know, wishes that I could play another crowd favorite. Greedy me. Okay. Trades with their seven mana spell. We are ahead. I'm not playing the Precious Pet here because this is, you know, they, they do have Ruination mana, right? So I don't want to just play the, the Precious Pet. And then they go Ruination. Uh, that's an annoying one. Thanks, Pilch. So that was a good play setting up the Ravenous Flock that we did.
guess they have single combat. That's what it looks like. Again, we can't just go sentry main phase, then they play ruination, and then I'm I just lose on the spot. Okay, nice. Seemed to be an early concession, but maybe something came up where they had to go, I guess. Um, you know, we were gonna we were gonna be casting glimpse beyond there, drawing our two cards with our well, maybe I wouldn't actually, cause wait, cause cause they're blocking the overwhelm, and so they would have taken three damage from from that, so they would have only had two health to block. So they would have taken five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, I think that was lethal with that block. I think it was, cause that. Because the single combat didn't actually save them life, because the it just added on to the overwhelm damage. All right, championless undying. We're gonna need to be pretty fast. Those aren't fast. Those are still not fast. Removal spells against like the Undying. That's a great. Let's get speed bump. To be honest, I don't. I don't think this list would be better with Orok. I'm. I mean, we already see it's it's really difficult to even have Ravenous Flock. Like, I just I don't think Orok would really do anything, to be honest. I, I've i played a lot of Orok. I've got a lot of donation decks with Orok in the past. And it's very, very rare that Orok is worth six mana and helps win games. It's just... Fedricide, protect me. Man, that's a, that's a great Warden Spray. That's a great Warren's Prey. Um, so yeah, I'm not. I'm just not high on that card. The party has arrived. No. Yeah, I'm always happy to answer questions. It will all be over Why are these attacking? Soon. Don't they want to block with those? Strange. Definitely considering playing the Spinning Axe on the Draven to start, you know, one half of the level up. Yeah, they, they should not have attacked with those 1-1s. One they should have definitely blocked with those 1-1s. One no place for the kind. This is tough. I want to Ravenous Flock and kill that, but if I just play Vile Feast... I guess I play Vile Feast, then Elise levels up. That's more important. And then this thing will still be damaged. We can Ravenous Flock it next turn. 
but we should have we should get Elise level up. Um, because then I have a backup Elise also, so as they killed this leveled up Elise, we got a backup. My true beauty is beneath the skin. There we go. It's a good card in this situation. See, I know French. <laughs> Returned with interest. Dang, five five tough. I think they're tough. Doing this so we can Ravenous Flock kill this thing so they just won't have any blockers at all. We'll go ahead and Elise Crawling Sensation. Make some more spiders. Right. Do we need to make more spiders? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I know French. Because, uh, yeah, I said, uh, you know, situation in French is situation. Pretty sure that's true. I think this puts them to exactly zero. I can. Oh, negative one. Not even exactly zero. Alright, GG's. Three and two. That's not where you want the Undying against Hyper Aggro, because they just don't have to block it and just kill you quicker. Uh, I have to say the crowd favorite looked amazing. This card definitely looked like an all-star. It was, you know, frequently 7-6. Sorry. Frequently 7-6 for 4 mana. And, you know, we just saw 6-4 Overwhelm get nerfed because that was too good. So now we're going to have 7-6 Overwhelm for 4 mana. Pretty good. Man, this card back in the day, when this this used to be a 2-2 instead of a 2-1. And, so, you know, if you have two things in play, then it would be, a, you know, 4-4. Four, four. Like for 4, which was huge. You have three things in play. It was a 5-5 five, five for 4. This card used to be insanely good. But it's still still looking quite good. At 2-1, I have to say that I was very, uh, very impressed by that. Yeah, I played five games at the same time as one Spooky Quinn game, <laughs> basically. So we, we got our 40 minutes uh, for these five games. Still a good, good time. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sold on Frenzied Skitter, to be honest. That's that's something that this card this nerf really really hurt this card um, being a three two this is not nearly as good as a three two not sold on that one but this is pretty sweet there goes good good list um, I think the Draven and the Draven's biggest fan were were big 
also i think that that's a, a really good addition to this this deck um that's something I wouldn't necessarily really think too much about but yeah that, that Dra draven's biggest fan to go along with the draven definitely liked having that extra good one drop that always made sure that you were curving out with draven so we we basically had turn three draven like every game which was quite nice all right that's it here for spider aggro those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments too i love seeing those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video